doll. Mm -hmm. um, Carol Beth, can you do a little bit of an intro? Was that part of your whole thing? I, I can't, it wasn't really. I, you know what, I wrote, I wrote everything out. Like I wrote everything out that I was going to say. And that doesn't surprise you. And then I typed it out, but I haven't actually practiced it. So guys, I'm sorry if this seems like really. You yeah. don't have to apologize to this team. team <laughs> OTR knows that Kate usually just is off the cuff and they love <laughs> me for it. Right, you guys? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so we have some all kinds of presentations here. Don't worry. Cool, cool. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll start. I can't see everybody. I can only see you. I don't know why that is. Oh, I just pinned you. Should I unpin okay. and see me, you guys? Who wants to vote? I can unpin. Does that help? No. Whatever you guys want. All right. Carry on, and I'll just play with it. How about that? Okay. Okay. Well, my name is Cheryl Beth Kucharski, and I'm a Sensi consultant. <laughs> We'll start there. Um, oh my gosh, like I don't even know where to start. Um, I've been a consultant since May of 2000 and um, May of 2014. And um, oh my gosh, well, I'll just dive right into it because I did like there's a little bit of an intro kind of in there. Um, so two things that you need to know about me before we even start. The number one thing is that when I joined Sensi, well, actually there's three things. So number one is... <laughs> I knew absolutely nothing about the product, all right? So whoever thinks that you, you have to know everything about everything, it's totally untrue. So I had seen the opportunity in October of 2013. I, I was introduced to Sensi at that time. Um, I am really cheap, so I bought the cheapest thing there possibly was on something Monster Monday, I think it was. And um, I tried one bar. And then I think in, in January is when I saw the actual business opportunity. The timing wasn't right for me. In February, I bought a three pack of bars. I didn't like any of them. And then in, uh, in May, I looked at the opportunity again and I'm like, yeah, I think I could do this. Even though I didn't know, like I had no idea there was laundry. I had no idea there was pro body product, no, nothing. Just dive right in. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is that when I joined, I told my sponsor right off the top, I want nothing to do with leadership, zero. Don't ask me, I don't want a sponsor, I don't want to be accountable to anybody, I don't want responsibility, I don't want to do it, don't ask me. Um, so, <laughs> but I still, I dove in, I fell in love with the product, but what I fell in love with was the company. I fell in love, in love with what the company stood for, their core values. And I just, it hit my heart and I just, I really, really dove in. And I don't want anyone to think that my journey has, has uh, not come with hurdles. It certainly has. I, my, my family is not supportive. Sorry, my extended family. My parents, like the promotion that just happened, my parents did not acknowledge it. Did not, no, did not acknowledge it. Um, so there's very little support there. I had family members that canceled on me right, left, and center for parties. So guys, I'm with you. I understand the hurdles. I understand the struggles. The, the work, what it comes down to is making the decision to still push forward. Um, so in about, within about three months, I, I just loved what I was doing. So I said to my sponsor, okay, like, I just love this. I want more. I want more. What can I do? What can I do? And she's like, well, I remember that sponsoring thing that we talked about. I'm like, yeah, that thing I told you I did not want to do. She's like, okay, Cheryl Beth, maybe you need to be a little bit more open-minded. <laughs> you're right. You're right. So you know what? I opened my mind to the idea and then just kind of let things flow a little bit more, started sharing a little bit more about um, the opportunity. And I ended up having a neighbor down the street come over um, for a play date. Her kids came over and she started talking to me about joining Sensi, and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Like, what? You're, you're gonna join me? Like, why? <laughs> why? Uh, and then, of course, for me, my thought was, like, guys, I am a sale, I'm a sales. Sales are where I'm at. Like, that's my strength, 100% in Sensi. So I'm like, well, you're gonna take all the people in the neighborhood from me. So, no, I don't think that's a good idea. But you know what? She joined, and I, I think she was my first team member. Um, at the same time, I was doing another, having another conversation. Um, I was looking for opportunities everywhere. And I had seen on Facebook that somebody I didn't even know 
was hosting some type of vendor event in their home. So I messaged her. I saw it on like a buy sell. So I messaged her. I'm like, my name's Cheryl Beth. I just started selling Sensi. I think, I think I'd be a perfect fit for your, for your uh, little party. So went into a total stranger's house, set up my table. Her sister came along and she's like, yeah, you know, I thought about selling Sensi before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And so I'm like, the bells were going off, but I, but my mouth was staying quiet. And I'm like, should I be saying something? Like, is this, is this where you're supposed to say, I, I think maybe you should do it. Like, I, I don't just, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Anyways, started having conversations with her. Uh, and those two girls joined um, back to back, I think within a couple of days. And what an eye opener from a lot of different perspectives. All of a sudden I was seeing and being a part of somebody else's success, but my December paycheck was pretty sweet too. And I started seeing the, 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 the climb, I guess you could say. So we promoted to lead in November of 2014 and a week later promoted to star. Um, wait a second. This is all, I, this is now, now an avenue that I didn't want. I didn't, I wasn't going for this, but I kind of like it. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, so that's number one. So as I said, my first thing was, I didn't, my first thing was, I didn't know anything about the products. Number two was, um, I didn't want to be a sponsor, didn't want to team build. And number three is I have a lot of fears and I'm going to be totally vulnerable with you guys. I have a lot of fears, even six years in as a director, star director, superstar director. Um, I just got, I know it's still not absorbing that yet. Um, I just got a message today from home office for a conference call with, with, and I'm like, I'm scared. That is my fears. I have a lot of fears. And I don't think that anybody in this business is going to sit here and tell you that they don't. We all do. Um, but my theory in life, and not just about Sensi, my theory in life is that you have choices. You have choices. You can either let your fears define you and direct you, or you can let your fears, like they can, you can really let your fears get in the way of accomplishing big things or you can let your fears drive you you can let your you can you can overcome your fears if you make the choice so for me personally i have i have fears of driving i have a driving phobia as a result of an accident do i drive today yes i do because i pushed myself to get into programs for desensitization and now i drive i still don't like it but i do it because i need to do it for our situation, our family situation. Um, and there's so many more examples of that, but I am, I, for me personally, I am not going to let my fears stop me from achieving something absolutely amazing. And the other thing is that I find that if you put limits on yourself, you are also limiting your family. I don't want my, my family to absorb my limits. So I choose to have none. I'm going to just keep going. So one of my biggest fears is a fear of judgment. I am terrified of what other people think of me. And I worry that people are going to see some of my weaknesses. Um, and Kate, I know that you and I talk about this a lot. <laughs> um, sometimes I feel like I, I, I lean on a lot of people to help me through this. Um, so for those of you who don't know my story, I'm going to give you a real, real quick version. I have an acquired brain injury um, from a motor vehicle accident 12 years or 13 years ago. So there are lots of times where my thought processes are not clear. I have difficulty processing information and retaining information. Um, I don't adjust well to changes at all. Um, I have difficulty with my speeches at my speech at times. So these, I mean, really, like these would all seem like really good reasons not to do a business, right? These are the reasons to do the business. These are reasons to do the business. Um, it's excuse busting. So honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you from my, from my heart that if I can do this, anybody can do this. You just have to want it and see the value in what you're doing. Um, so I, what I do is I use this business as a way to push through my challenges and to face my fears. Um, so my view of Sensi, as I said, it's a little bit different now than when I originally joined. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, if I can be a part of something that's going to help my family, why would I not want to share that opportunity with somebody else so that they can help their family? Why would I not want to help other people make big differences in their lives? Um, so I feel like when you're at the point where you can embrace Sensi, the opportunity as a blessing, 
that's when you're, you know, you're ready to start team building. So you, if you have to treat the opportunity as if it's this like little treasure, you know how, you know how, like, um, if you know how to do Photoshop, it's like a treasure that's all lit up in your hands and you're passing that over to somebody. It's a gift. It's not them coming to join your team. It's a gift that you're giving to somebody else. So as soon as you can embrace that, you will eliminate the, the idea that you are pushing something on somebody. You're giving a gift, a gift that could literally change somebody's life. And I am so thankful that that gift was given to me. And that's the way that I look at it. Somebody didn't ask me to join Cincy. Somebody didn't push it on me. Somebody gave me a gift. Um, it's about what you can do for your new team member, not what they can do for you. And as soon as you can flip that mindset, that's when magic is going to happen. Um, so for me, recruiting and sponsoring, um, I mean, it was a slow, it was a slow process, but I would, I would say that a defining point was uh, when I went to Nashville to Sensei Family Reunion in 2016. You guys have heard the saying, if those who show up, go up and leaders are born at events. Absolutely. If you do not have your world tour ticket, I, I don't know guys, I, <laughs> right? Like if you're, if you're here because you legit just want a little bit of extra money, maybe you're looking for the discount, that's fantastic. But if you're looking for more, get yourself signed up. It's $13, it's a business write-off. These are where you're gonna have your aha moments. We have the opportunity to have these trainings where you can go back and rewatch them. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as an example. The leadership training that Kate and I did, um, did right before World Tour. So there's, there's the opportunity for leaders to do I think it was a two hour workshop. Guys, Kate, how long did it take me to complete the workshop? Do you remember? Like seven days. It was, it was, it, well, it, it ran for two hours. Yeah. It took me four hours. Yeah, and she was still um, overthinking it a week later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, my face is all red. Holy smokes. You're pretty amazing. It's okay. <laughs> Um, it took me, it took me four hours. I sat down and I paused like every three minutes to write down some notes. And you know what? That's okay. You do things on your own terms, world tour, virtual, same thing. You have the access to go back over and over and over. So after, um, reunion in Nashville, I realized that it was time for me to really face my fears. So what I did is I opted to do something that was really, really scary for me right? Again, you have choices. You can either let your fears define you or you can let them drive you. And I wanted to, I wanted to grow in my business. When you come home from these events, you're charged up, you're looking for ways to grow. And I knew that I was my own barrier. I needed to start doing videos. So you, now you're talking to somebody who has a fear of judgment and uh, issues with speech and processing and trying to do videos. My first videos were a mess and it's okay because it's showing my personality, it's showing me, it's showing my struggles, it's showing the world that anybody can do this. Um, so I started really easy with warmer of the month, with scent of the month, and then I started doing unboxing videos, started doing um, snip tests with my kids, product videos, and eventually I started talking about Scentsy Life. And guess what? My customers started asking me questions about joining. Um, our team started to grow. I was really, like, I was really putting myself out there. Um, I was having more conversations in person, um, online about Scentsy Life. I started branding myself a little bit more, but just kept having conversations over and over and over. Um, oh, it was, oh my gosh, I just remember, I remember the people that, that joined my team right after that reunion and they made such a difference in my business. Um, and again, it was because I was starting to put myself out there a little bit more. Um, so I've used my videos as a way or as a platform or a vehicle for sharing my story, for sharing my sensey love, and obviously the products in the company. Um, but I would say that as far as recruiting and team building goes, it was the spring of 2019, so not that long ago, where I had another like epiphany moment, I guess, or like another hit another milestone in my business with respect to recruiting. Um, this is when I made the decision to face some e even bigger fears. For those of you who may, who went to world tour in 2019, you may have seen me up on the stage. I can't even tell you how petrified I was for that. 
but I knew that it was something I needed to do and prove to myself. Um, I also had lots of messages I wanted to share with everybody. Um, but it was also at this time that I started distancing myself from negativity, from toxicity. I wanted to surround myself with people who are also wanting this, wanting to go, <laughs> wanting to go somewhere with this. So, you know, expanding my business network, started building better relationships with our Sensi family. Kate, this is when you and I connected, Teresa, um, our upline, Jerry and Ariel. Um, my boot camp family, I tapped into with them a little bit more other directors out there. We have a huge, huge network. And this is where brainstorming and sharing ideas, it all happens. And I think I started to adopt the, um, the saying better together. We're, we're better together. Why try to do something on your own when you can go literally go together? Um, so, you know, at this point is I, I made decisions. I made, I made the choices. And all, everybody can make these same decisions and choices. You need to do what's best for you every day, every day long. But ultimately, again, it's a gift in your hands. Um, I wanted to be a better leader. I wanted to be a better team builder. And I knew that it was going to make, it was going to require me to make some changes. Um, this is also when around the same time frame that the Hostess Exclusive Kit came out. And I'm going to tell you, it took me months to even clue in to the value of that kit. I think it took a lot of us. I'm going to be honest. I think it took a lot of us a long time to figure out what it was and how we can work it. And once, once you figure that out, this, this is golden. This is the golden ticket. I'm telling you the hostess exclusive day uh, kit is like money all day. Um, so what I also started doing was I started trying to coach and, team and train my team a little bit, bit better. Um, so in the past, I think I've been a little bit more eye-centered than team-centered. And I wanted to start helping my new team members a little bit more by providing them with scripts and um, sharing more of my ideas, my personal specials, things like that. Sharing any um, flyers that I was making. I was doing mock party, home parties in my house for my team. Um, I provide my, my team with um, Facebook mock, mock parties. Um, and the other thing that I, that I, this is a really hard one, a hard decision, uh, but I stopped removing my team members from my VIP group. So prior to that, I would let them stay in for three months and then they would get the HEPO so that they could fly on their own, which I agree with that theory, but I started letting them stay in a little bit longer. And I noticed that we started working better together. However, that being said, if you, if you copy and paste my posts and put them in a buy cell, you're out. <laughs> I don't, I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate that. Um, okay. So I'm here to talk to you guys about the three legs of success. Um, this is also a program that I'm familiar with. So guys, I know that you guys have already talked about the sales component and we're talking about recruiting right here. So we have the three legs and there's a seat on top, but what are you going to do with this chair? What are you going to do with the chair that you've just built? You have to take a seat and you have to show up. If you don't show up, you just got a, you just got a chair, right? <laughs> like you have to show up. So I'm going to tell you, I show up to my business every single day. Every, and even if that means having to schedule a post, I show up every day for my customers and for my team. My customers can expect that they're going to see me once, twice, or three times a day. I do my postings. I'm still learning. I'm still learning Instagram. It's a work in progress. Um, my business page is hit or miss, but I'm in my VIP group two to three times a day. A day. I'm on my personal page. Not as often. I try really hard to um, stick to that recommended 20-80 split where 20% of your Facebook profile is your um, business and 80% is your life outside of Sensi, which is so important. And this is important because you want people to build connections with you. Right, if all they see is sensi, 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 there's nothing else that they can relate to you about, right? Um, so my favorite excuse out there, I mean, we've heard, we hear all the excuses, we hear them, lots of different things, but my favorite excuse out there is, I don't have time. I don't have time to work my business. So I get this from people who are thinking about joining, I don't have time, but I get this from my team members, I don't have time. Guys, the reality is that nobody has extra time, right? We all have the same 24 hours in a day. Everyone chooses to fill their time with the things that are important to them. 
So is Sensi important to you? Is making extra money important to you? It's, it is to me. Sensi is now my full-time job. Um, I didn't, it wasn't full-time when I started. It was, it was a hobby, but I saw value in it and I wanted to make it my full-time job. And with a full-time job, you show up or you get fired. <laughs> so um, choose you get to choose how much time you want to invest in this. So a lot of that is going to go back to determining why you're here. What is it that you're looking for from Sensi? Why did you join? What are you looking to get from this opportunity? And again, that's going to look different for everybody. Some people legit just want the discount. That's fantastic. But if you are looking at this as a side hustle, you got to show up. You got to go to those events. You got to be present. Um, if you're looking at paychecks of 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 dollars, these are absolutely possible, but they're not going to happen if you don't show up, if you don't go to those events, if you don't give it, give it your all. Um, so one of the things that I, one of the tips that I give to my team to be, to be consistent um, is to share lots of different aspects of Sensi. It's not just product post after product post after product post. It's engagement posting. It's trying lots of different videos. It's games. It's being, having, just sharing your silly experiences. It's sharing your personality. It's sharing your positivity. It's sharing your excitement. So the, the um, and I take this as a huge compliment. The number one thing that I hear from my customers is my passion. That is the thing that sticks with them is my passion for the business. They see it in my excitement when I'm talking about pretty much anything Sensi related. And we also make choices in our business to keep things. I am so red. Oh my gosh. So it's my shirt. It must be my red shirt. Um, <laughs> I make the choice to try to, to keep it very, very positive for my, for my customers and for my team. Um, but it's not just about sharing those things. It's also sharing about what the business has done for you, sharing how it's changed things for your family, sharing how you've grown from the opportunity, sharing about how you've contributed to your, your home, your family, um, use those income disclosure statements and, sh and share. So there are people out there that are driven by numbers. They're driven by money. Share your paychecks. Yep, absolutely. And that's okay. That's okay. I now understand why you like Jennifer Anderson so much because she is very much the same. And you know what? Props to a leader who will openly admit that they, that they that's why they're here. Awesome. Um, as I said, so the, one of the main things is to be really positive because you guys are ultimately the face of your business. If you're out there complaining about shipping times or complaining that things are selling out, it, does that make people want to join your team? Probably not. If you can spin that in a different way, because there are other ways to look at it. Our shipping department is behind because there are so many orders because we are kicking butt right now, right? Things are selling out because we have amazing products to represent spin in a different way, right? Um, so I would say, you're probably like, okay, Cheryl Beth, that's great. Now, how do you get new team members? How do you get, <laughs> right? How do you get them? Okay, so the majority of my sponsoring is the direct result of building relationships. So that's in my VIP group. My main goal is to get everybody into my VIP group because that's where they're gonna see me because I show up every day. So VIP group, um, uh, sponsoring is from parties, like part of my party guests, referrals. Um, if I'm doing an event, um, obviously there's not a lot of events going on right now, but there are online events. Um, event attendees, actually, I'm going to pause there. I'm actually going to literally put my finger on the screen. Um, another way that I have helped my team to grow this, um, this season, started doing this in, in the spring. Any online event that gets uh, that I come across any opportunity I don't keep it for myself I pass it to my team members and let them have the opportunity to grow because I want to grow but I want them to grow too um, so for me there's more value in that right now because I am very involved with my own personal customer base and expanding it through referrals so if I can give my custom my team members those other types of opportunities a hundred percent I'm going to do that um, so when I look back at my, my team, there's four legs. Um, if I look back at each individual person, I'm going to tell you how I met them. Okay. So met, some, some of you know, Vicki Murphy, Vicki was a party guest. Um, I don't know the year, but I think it was, it was November of 2016. I'm going to guess. Um, she was a, an attendee at a party and this girl had like flashing lights over her head. 
she was asking me the questions and I just sat, sat, back, sat back and thought she needs to be on my team. Um, she ended up having a party. We, I tried to flip her. She didn't want to join. She joined two weeks later. <laughs> um, Nicole Lolly, also on my team. She's a director. She is my neighbor. She lives four, five doors down from me. So if anyone tells you that the market is saturated, that's a lie. Because my director team member lives five doors down from me. Total lie. Um, sorry, I'm not lying about that. I'm lying that people think it's uh, oversaturated, okay? So she's my neighbor. We met through the neighborhood. Um, I don't know if you guys know Dallas. Dallas, um, she is now my, she's not my front line. She's my um, second line, down line. Uh, but I met Dallas's sponsor as a referral from, um, from, a, fr uh, from a friend. Um, and then Rhonda, who just hit uh, director as well. I met Rhonda from being tagged in a community group. Um, she was looking for something. I, somebody tagged me, I responded. We built a, a relationship and she ended up joining my team. So lots of different things there, but this, it all involves being active and getting my name and being out there so that people can find me. Um, so let's, let's look at, do some brainstorming here. If you guys are, if you're a leader right now and you have, um, three to five people on your team, write down their names and write down where you found them or how they, how that relationship happened, how they became your customer, how they became your team member, how you met them. So is there a pattern there? Are you seeing that? Okay. Well, all of these people that join my team are, um, they're from events. Is that something that you can repeat? Yeah, you can still do more events. If you're noticing that all your people are from uh, parties, can you, can you do more parties? Absolutely. So go with the things that you're strong with and try some other things along the way, right? Um, so, you know, let's say that the last person that you sponsored was a parent from your son's hockey team. Could you have more conversations and build more relationships with people from your kids' activities? So that's where you go back to the Frank method, the Frank theory, right? Friends, acquaintances friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and K, okay, your kids, anybody you meet through your kids. Um, gosh, I can't believe I remembered that. That was amazing. Anyways, so, you know, another example, if the last person you sponsored was from an online party, can you do more online parties? Heck yeah, you can. Okay, so it really is about putting yourself out there and getting to know people. The other thing that you can do is to join interest groups. Like I know that there, the home party thing's not happening right now. The event thing is not happening so much right now. But what are the, some of the things that you're interested in? Join different groups. I don't know if you guys have ever heard. Um, Kate, do you know Kim Williams? She talks about this a lot. She's out, she's out in Alberta. Um, really, really like her. She's a, she's a great, she's a superstar director. Um, really great lady. So she talks a lot about joining different interest groups. So this is something that I did maybe about two years ago, started, um, you guys know Ray Dunn, you know, the, that product. I love that product, right? Um, so I collected as well. And, you know, in, during that whole trade process, if you're doing trades, if you're selling your kids stuff off on garage sale, if you're selling stuff in, on Marketplace, slip your business card in there, slip a sample in there, reconnect with them, relate, build a relationship, boom. Look at that potential customer, party hostess, maybe even a team member. So um, I have two examples from the Ray Dunn group. I started talking to a lady about her collection. She ended up booking a party with me last November. That, that uh, party has led to, I believe there's been six. So every three months, her and her crew, one girl just joined in October. The sixth one joined. I'm going to keep going through them all until somebody joins. That's my mission. Um, I have another girl, same thing through the Ray Dunn group. We started, we did a trade. We're talking about some, one of the products. She ended up joining my team. Um, and she is, she's new. I think she just joined in September. She's loving it. She's absolutely loving it. And she's really, really creative too. So, you know, it's a lot, it's allows, it allows you to also expand your, um, your friendship base too. Just things to connect with people on. Um, I need a drink. Stop break time. <laughs> Okay, the other thing I wanted to touch on a little bit is I, I got to go back to this, um, these legs and I got to go to the PRV one a little bit. 
Um, as I said, I feel that, that sales is my, it's my strength. Um, most of the time, most of my time right now is spent on, still spent on meeting people and bringing them on as a customer. Um, you need to build your customer base and your PRV goals before getting into recruiting. People can recruit right off the top. I mean, you can sponsor somebody, you can join and sponsor somebody the next day, but you want to make sure that you're hitting your PRV goals so that you're at least getting um, rewarded for your efforts in training somebody else right? So being paid from your team. Um, and obviously if your PRV goals, if you have a team, 500 PRV. Um, what, I don't know if you guys have watched the Jennifer Anderson video on making a $10,000 paycheck. If you haven't watched it, it's a great one. I watched it early on and it is about setting your goals for the monthly sales award every single month. And I'm telling you that if you do that and you push, push, push towards that, you are putting yourself in front of that many more people, right? which means that you have more people who are going to want to book parties. You have more people that are going to potentially join your team. So forgive me for a minute. I was, as I kind of do this analogy, I don't really, really, really think of people as trees, but I'm using a tree as the analogy. So I have a brand new customer that comes to me and I'm looking at them and I see the trunk of a tree. They are the trunk, right? Their branches, their leaves, that's their network. How am I going to get up there? How am I going to get, from that person up into their network so that I can find more team members and more uh, party hosts. Well, I'm going to focus on the trunk. I'm going to water that trunk, right? That's the heart. I'm going to make sure that that person is a, is a very happy customer. Of course, I'm going to add, uh, offer them the hostess opportunity and the, um, the join possibility, but you know, if it's for them, great. They can tap into their own network. They can tap into their own branches. If it's not for them, then I'm going to figure out a way for me to tap into them because that's a whole slew of people that are going to fall. In love. I'm going to make sure they fall in love with the product. I'm going to get those testers underneath their noses. I'm going to share with them the opportunity for getting items for free and for half price, but then also the business opportunity. Um, again, back to Jennifer Anderson. If you guys have not watched her video on don't take that order, you need to watch it. This is something that I've been training my team on. Um, Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been probably about nine months. So when her video t uh, popped up, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing something right because that's exactly what I've been saying. Oh my gosh, okay, don't take that order. When you have somebody that comes to you and says, um, yeah, I really would love to have a six pack of wax and that why are you blushing mini warmer is fantastic. Awesome, yes, I can grab those for you. No, we're not saying that anymore. What we're saying is, hey, did you know that you can actually get that mini warmer for free and that um, six pack of wax for half price? So it's gonna cost you like 20 bucks for the whole thing. What, what are you talking about? How, did you, how am I gonna do that? Um, you're gonna talk now talk to them about having a party. You're gonna talk to them about, well, did you know that if you were to ask six of your friends if they wanna order a six pack of wax, that's now a qualifying party. You can get your stuff for free and half price. What, like people don't, they don't seem to grasp that. It doesn't have to be a big Facebook party. It doesn't have to be a big home party. It can literally just be, hey, wanna borrow a set of my testers and just see if anybody wants to smell them, right? Now, all of a sudden that you give them this opportunity, they're able to collect orders. And then I'm gonna to say to them, I'm totally off script here, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> then I'm gonna to say to them, you just did my job. You just did the job of a consultant. Have you ever thought about making some extra money with Sensi? Guys, literally. Don't overthink it. Like I know I made it sound really easy, but I think that we overthink the script and it doesn't have to, you don't have to. Just off from your heart, just offer up the opportunity. So for those of you who don't know, I, I have a tendency to be a cheap ass and I love to manipulate hostess rewards to get my, my hostesses the best deals possible. And I will do that every single day. I will show you how to use those rewards, but what if I can show you how to use those rewards and make some extra money at the same time, right? Really, that's it. That's, it. that's what it's about. Um, so guys, as I said, with that, with that kit, that hostess exclusive kit is life. If you don't know what that is and how to use it, there's so much training on the workstation. It's not even funny. Um, for those of you who don't know, sponsoring in November is up 197%. 197%, there's no join promotion on right now. That's insanity. Can't even think about this. I, I am, Kate already knows this. 
I am like, I, I really am an observer of patterns. I'm always speculating what's hap gonna happen next, right? So all season long, I'm like, when's, when's the drawing promotion? When's the drawing promotion? When's the drawing promotion? Wait a second. We're no, we are past the days of waiting for joint promotions. I'm going to tell you that for two to three years, I used to hold all of my potential team members off until February or August because that was super size starter kit month. We don't need to do things like that anymore, right? Not that we ever had to before. It's not a wise business decision. Um, that opportunity should happen when it's right for the person, not when it's right for you, right? But now with this hostess exclusive kit, every single day is an amazing day to join. Um, so with that kit, um, I think it's really important to remember that when you're offering it up, obviously we want rock stars on our team, but rock stars aren't, don't always start off as rock stars, right? So you offer that up to people who want the personal discount. You offer it up to, to your friends and family. You offer it up to people who want a side hustle. And if you have anyone that's saying outright, I want a full time, this to be my full time thing, you offer it up, right? Kate said it, I've said it. I didn't join saying I wanted to be full, this to be my full-time job. I wanted to just sell to my friends and my family, right? That is how the majority of your leaders are going to start. They don't see the value, the real opportunity until they're already in. Okay. So I think I'm actually getting close to the end. I think the other big, big thing is don't make that decision for your customer. Okay. Offer this opportunity up to everyone because I guarantee the person that, that you least expect is the one that's going to jump. Um, but if you aren't even telling people about the hostess exclusive kit, about these opportunities, you've already robbed them of the opportunity to say yes. You took that from them. Give them the chance to say no, because you know what? They may say something totally different. Um, listen to what your customers are saying. If you're hearing things like, I can't afford this, things are tight right now, I'm so bored at home, I'm Netflix, Netflix binging, my spouse isn't working right now. You should be hearing red alarm or seeing red alarms and hearing alarms going off in your head. Your response to this should be something like, um, I'm not really sure if you're if you're this is something they're into, but have you ever thought about making a little bit of extra money with Sensi? And then provide some of those statistics. Our sales are up, I think it's 167% right now. We are in hyper growth. Things are selling out because. Nobody could have forecasted this type of, these types of sales, like nobody. Um, there is room for everyone. And I love, if you have not heard Orville's keynote speech about the campfire, you've got to go back and watch that. Seriously, Google is your friend and the workstation will have that as well. Um, but listen to what your customers are saying. I think the other thing that's really important too, and this is something that I myself have gotten stuck in, Whatever you do, do not not ask somebody because you're worried about losing your customer, okay? Team, you're, you choose your team over your sales every single team, every single day because that is a blessing that you're giving to someone else and you don't know what they could do with it. They could blow it up. Um, when I say team member over your sales, I, I think you've probably heard the saying your sales are your money for today, your parties are your money for tomorrow, but your team is your money for the future. So let's say that something happens in your life and you have a bit of a hiccup and you're able, only able to do your 500 PRV, but you're used to doing, I don't know, 1500. You can scale back that month and you know what? You're still gonna have a decent paycheck because you have a crew of, of team members that have been working hard, right? Under your guidance. Um, so I wanted to share this one example. November of 2015, I had a massive goal in front of me. I wanted to have my highest paycheck ever, my highest PRV ever. I also wanted to make um, the group magnificent top 20 list. I am a person that's driven by that type of stuff, by recognition. And um, I had a girl message me to book a party. Um, so she contacted me because she was referred by one of her friends. This ended up being a $1,200 party. So at the time, $1,200 is what it took to be certified, right? Because we had a change in peg rate a couple years back. Um, I'm going to tell you, I did not want to flip that party because that was going to interfere with me hitting my goal. Um, but I did because I realized that it wasn't about me. It was not about me. It was about her. So she joined with some hesitation. And I, I used the same, the same terminology with her. I said, 
you just did this. These are your friends. You're the one that just went around and at, talked to each person about the products. You just did my job. Have you ever thought about joining? So she did and she's like, ah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. I, we'll see. She was my first director. Can you imagine if I had not flipped that party? If I had taken, so $1,200 is what, a commission of $300? $300 versus having a director? It's not about me. It's about, it's about them. It's about sharing the opportunity. So here's another one, and this one touches my heart. So I have a, had a new customer come to me in April. I, I think she was a referral. I'm pretty sure that she was a referral. I did talk to her quite quickly about the join opportunity because I think we had, in April, I feel like we had a um, free enhancement kit or maybe something to do with the Sensigo. I can't quite remember. Um, so I asked her about the opportunity. Not for her, absolutely not. So, okay, sure, no problem, that's cool. Um, I did ask her if she wanted to book a party and she said, okay, I'll see. Like, I don't really know if my friends are into this, but she did book a party. In my mind, she was joining. That is the way that I, I look at things now. So in the past, I would look at booking parties because that's additional PRV. Now I look at parties as that is not my PRV because it's your PRV because you're going to join. And if they don't join, then it's my PRV, but I want it to be her PRV. Um, so <laughs> I, as I said, I approach every party this way um, and I leave it up to my hostess to take that. So she ended up loving the party. She was so surprised at the support from her friends. She ended up joining. Okay. So that she ended up joining in May. Today, she's a lead consultant. She just had a 1000 PRV month. She just had her highest paycheck. She's a single mother. Oh gosh. She just, sorry. She just paid for Christmas for her daughter and they went out to celebrate yesterday to, for dinner. Like, that is what it's about. It's about the differences that you can make for other people. In my mind, that, that party was her party. It was her launch party. She just didn't know it yet. Um, oh gosh, guys, I'm like an emotional basket case all the time. My team is used to it. Okay, let me just, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. I think that was actually about it. Um, okay, so as I'm saying, and that was a party flip, what we ended up doing with that party, and I love it when it pans out like this. So when you're doing a party, you use that hostess exclusive kit. If it's a Facebook party, that Facebook party now becomes your new team members VIP group. So you've just set them up because they've got all the postings that you've done that they can refer back to. Um, again, hostess exclusive kit. If you don't know what it's about, you need to find out that information. Um, my, for the spring, spring, summer of uh, 2020, um, my goal was to book four to five parties a month. I did this by doing block parties. So putting multiple hostesses to one party. Um, and then for the fall winter uh, party, I love doing parties. Parties are my jam. I love them. But again, I'm looking at parties as not my PRB that they're going to join. Um, so this fall winter, it's been seven to eight parties a month. Um, I'm just looking at my lists here since August the 1st, I think I sponsored 13 people and had two reinstatements. That's from a change in mindset. It's not about me, it's about them. Let's get you in a position where you can start your own business. Um, so to summarize, guys, I'm gonna tell you, you need to continue to spread your Sensi Sparkle everywhere, keep it positive, and remember, it's about the blessings that you can bring to other people. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much so for anyone who is watching the recording or for anyone who didn't catch last week just because she's so humble i knew she wasn't gonna get all the way into her story i knew she was gonna start with all um the things that she did wrong and stuff which she did uh, but for those of you who do not know cheryl best was a director just two short months ago you guys she promoted to star director and then the following month, just last month in October, she promoted to superstar director, which is the freaking <laughs> highest title in the entire company. She did not show herself out, which I was kind of hoping she would, but I knew she would um, So if you, I mean, if you've made it this far, clearly it's because you're listening to what this uh, woman has to say. But if you just needed an extra sort of reason to make you take what she had to say seriously, guys, <laughs> 
double promoting to superstar director. Dude, <laughs> like, I don't think I have to tell you how big of a deal that is. So that was a girl, like, I have so oh. many, I was like, scribbling out. I was like trying to listen, but also scribble at the same time. Um, so I'm going to open it up. Does anyone who is here? Yeah, Tony, you can think good. Um, so does anyone who is here live, do you guys have any questions for her? Are there any specifics that you want to know? Um, from TV, because I know that she would be generous with her answers. Um, Mandy, out of 300 dollars, she probably has a baby. <laughs> she needs her. She usually has to dip in and out of our meetings. So, does anyone have any questions for TV? Just go ahead and unmute yourself. Um, I took so many. Oh, good. Away, and honestly, like I don't know about you guys. None of none of what she said was new. Right? Who can relate to that? Like, you guys have all heard either me say that or another leader say that. Like, none of what Mandy's like, Brian freaking new, and she knows all the things too, right? But sometimes hearing it from a different point of view can make all the difference, right? Sometimes the light bulb is so off. Um, and I didn't, what I, the biggest thing I took away from this isn't like, this is how you recruit, okay? Like, I, I hope you guys weren't disappointed. I hope you guys show up thinking that she was going to give you these exact three steps will give you recruits every day because that's not how it is right because people turns out are people right humans are humans and the way that we eat, deal with everybody around us is going to be different depending on whatever human you're dealing with um so the biggest like major takeaway that i took from all of this was honestly just being yourself mm -hmm. First of all, you really have to start with authenticity. CB talked about how like her people, uh, like her customers, the people around her, they notice her passion for the products. People do not want to join someone who is like flimsy about their business, right? Like, oh yeah, I do flimsy, it's all right. Like no one wants to join that. And honestly, people are going to assume that that's what you think unless you're shouting it from the freaking rooftops about how much you love your business. Like you really have to be like overly obvious about it in your own authentic way um, for people to really grasp that. So you really have to start with being yourself and then you really have to just build relationships and then not be afraid to talk about the business opportunity with people. There'll never be a script. There'll never be a secret sauce. There's never gonna be the one thing that you could do right or the one thing that you could do wrong. I promise you start with authenticity and you show up every day like she said and you keep your opportunity goggles on like we talk about then you will start seeing progress with your team building that tree analogy so good i was like i wrote it i was like tree branches network water the tree keep the tree happy yeah. <laughs> that you can get up to, to the trees branches right like water that trunk um we should turn that into a hashtag you guys okay water that trunk <laughs> Um, so no one has any questions for her from this person who has sponsored 13 people since August. Guys, I feel like, like I may have sponsored 13 people since January. Maybe. Like me. I would have to go back and check. Because um, I'm not a very strong recruiter. I'm a, I'm a consistent recruiter. Uh, but I would like to be a little bit stronger for two reasons. One, I would like to bless more people more often. And two, I don't want it to take as long to get to where I want to be. Right? So there's two tracks that we can take with the business. You can take this slow and steady, which is okay. You'll still get there wherever you want to go. You'll still get there in time. But if you go a little bit harder, you can you try a little bit faster, then you can get to that same goal uh, with not as much punch in it. Right? So thank you, TV. No problem. So uh, yeah, there's, I have one, one thing I want to say. Um, so when I look back at my, at my journey with Sensi, all of my promotions have been double promotions. All of them. So I would write from certified to star, write from star to director, and write from director to, su to superstar. And that is because of epiphany moments. And that some of those epiphany moments, and literally is showing up, is going to those events, is when, you know, when we have those aha moment training things, yep. showing up at those, even, at those opportunities, taking in as much information as we can, and then just making it, it's not just sitting there, it's doing something with it, right? So it goes back to goal setting, making your plan and putting the actions into place. I feel like I spend a lot of time sometimes in that planning phase, 
But then when I get into the action phase, it, it happens. Yeah. And that's okay too. Yeah, because all the, we talked about this before, you guys, all the knowledge in your head is wonderful, but if you never apply it, it's literally just floating around in space. Like it doesn't help you at all to be the smartest person in the world unless you actually do something with it, right? So do not get stuck in analysis paralysis or you'll just keep spinning your wheel. Um, oh, TV. <laughs> Oh, you're like my hero. Who wants to, ah. to be their leader? Me. Um, so thank you so much for showing up. I just no problem. Anyone, thank you. I mean, you guys, Cheryl Beth is on our two pages, right? So we're yes. on each other's two pages because like she said, everyone is better together, right? So yes. when her and I, we've always been like cousins right from the get-go, but we hadn't connected until like late last year. I would say our actual relationship really started building during COVID. Um, yes. And once we were able to sort of really connect a really build relationship, we talked about this earlier, earlier this month, and we're not taking accountability for each other's successes whatsoever, but it's coincidental that when you really start like showing up and trying to work to help other people, your business thrives at the same time. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have any questions for her, I'm going to just put her on the spot right now and let her know, tag her in OTR, and I know her because I know her as a person and she's generous with the time, she will answer you, she will respond to you, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Or just ask me and I will ask her. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so thank you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for, you. Being here for us. Those of you who are live, we really appreciate you being here with us um, and for taking the time to invest in your business like this. And for those of you who are watching and have made it this far in the recording, thank you also <laughs> for taking the time in your business to invest. So. We love all you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to peace out and go all right. get some Halloween candy. All right. So yes. have a good night, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.